Will Amazon Echo change the world? Welcome to another episode of The Future in Five, where I share my thoughts, ideas, and commentary on the future of work in five minutes or less. Today, I'm joined by my friend, the Amazon Echo. And uh, you can see this is what it looks like here. It's not a very big device. For those of you not familiar with Amazon Echo, some people call it a uh, Tower of Siri. And basically what it is, it's this uh, cylindrical device that sits around in your office, in your kitchen, in a living room, wherever you want it to be. And it's kind of like a smart assistant for your house. So for example, I could say, Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Alexa, what's the weather tomorrow? Here's the forecast for tomorrow in Oakland. Look for rainy weather with a high of 55 and a low of 49. So you can pretty much ask, uh, I can't say the name because it's sort of the, the keyword that turns it on, but you can ask the Echo to do all sorts of things for you. I can uh, have reminders set for me. For example, I could say, Alexa, remind me to pick up milk tomorrow. Pick up milk tomorrow added to your to-do list. There you go. So you can see that it does a lot of different types of things for you. It can also play stations. For example, Alexa, play Flash News. Here's your flash briefing. In NPR News from TuneIn. From NPR News in Washington. Alexa, I'm stop. Hers. So you can ask it to do all sorts of these different types of commands. You can also ask it to purchase things for you or to add things to your cart. For example, I could say, um, Alexa, add Zook dog treats to my cart. I've put Zook dog treats on your shopping list. So the list of commands goes on and on. It actually comes with a little pamphlet that gives you some recommendations of commands that you can ask it to do. And it's actually quite fascinating. It's quite interesting. It can also play music. So for example, I can ask it to play uh, Alexa, play Frank Sinatra from iHeartRadio. Getting your Frank Sinatra station from iHeartRadio. There we go. Now I got Frank Sinatra playing in the background. Alexa, stop. Now, what's really fascinating about the Amazon Echo is that, first of all, the speaker is fantastic. Um, I've tried using the device from another room and it can hear me just fine. I've tried uh, screaming things from uh, across, across the house and it also works. And it's actually a, a very fascinating little device. And it just came out, I believe, a, a week ago. I, hopefully, I'm, I think I'm one of the earlier people to, uh, to kind of get it. And there's a lot of discussion going around uh, around what the future of this is going to look like. Now, for now, the Echo seems to have some, some more fun functions, right? It's certainly better than, than Siri. <laughs> Those of you that have used Siri know that it's not the greatest uh, um, smart assistant in the world. Now, the Amazon Echo actually does a very, very good job of recognizing uh, voice commands, of listening, and it does a fantastic job of, uh, of playing things back to you. The speaker is fantastic. So you can imagine, for example, you walk into the house after a long day at work and you want to order something or you want to listen to music. So it has a, a lot of really interesting applications there. But that's just the beginning. Imagine something like this that controls your entire house, you know, a smart home that can you can control your lights, you can uh, control your refrigerator, you can buy things, you can connect with people, you can have it check your email, you can have it pretty much do anything that a virtual assistant would do. Now imagine the applications of Amazon Echo for the workplace. So you show up to work, um, how you use or you need to reschedule a meeting or set up a meeting, you need to get in touch with somebody, how you use technologies in the workplace, if you need to reorder equipment. Something like this has tremendous applications for the future of work. Um, and again, you can do pretty much anything with uh, with something like the Amazon Echo. The commands thus far are pretty limited. I mean, if you look at the, the little list that it gives you, uh, you can do shopping, weather, fun facts, clocks, timers, stuff like that. But again, imagine being able to ask and communicate with something like this around anything that you need or anything that you want, 
whether it's meetings, whether it's ordering equipment, whether it's controlling uh, the actual office environment that you are a part of, whether it's getting in touch with people, whether it's using a collaboration platform and how you want it to interact with that platform. For example, assigning Amazon Echo to create groups or to post updates or messages for you or to control your email. And again, that's just the very, very beginning of where smart assistants and smart platforms are going. So this is the Amazon Echo. I think it's a fascinating device. Um, you know, certainly worth checking out. It's available on Amazon. Uh, if you're a Prime member, I think it's only 99 bucks. But again, uh, the question is, will something like this uh, be a game changer for the future of work? I absolutely think it will be. A couple years ago, I wrote a an article around how the future of collaboration platforms is all about becoming smart platforms. And here you go, it's a smart device. Um, and they're only going to get smarter from here. So look out for the Amazon Echo and look out for more of these types of devices, these smart assistants that are going to control the way we work and the way that we live in the future. There's my five minute timer. So my time is up. I'll see you next time on the Future of Five. Alexa, stop. Okay, I'm back. I know I ran out of time. I forgot to mention one thing. Um, imagine something like the Amazon Echo being integrated with wearable devices, for example, Google Glass. So if you're in a manufacturing facility and you need to get access to people or information or to product details, you can start talking to your wearable device. And something like this, you can see how it would have a lot of applications there. So smart platforms combined with wearable devices combined with the Internet of Things gives you a very, very powerful combination that allows you to really control not just the way you live, but the way you work. I just wanted to mention that in there because uh, in the previous five minutes, I completely glossed over the whole wearable and Internet of Things uh, portion. But it is absolutely a huge factor for the Amazon Echo. Check it out and you will definitely be seeing more of these types of devices in the future. See you next time.